What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Last time we took on the second gym and defeated Misty, so we have now received the Cascade Badge, meaning we are a quarter of the way through the Kanto League, which is uh, pretty surprising already. Um, anyways, today our plan is to head north because even if you defeat the rival here and defeat Misty before going north, this cop will still be standing in front of this doorway, and they won't move until we check out Bill's house. Now, we won't be reaching Bill's house in this video, because in Route 24 and 25, there are a lot of trainers to battle, starting here on the Nugget Bridge. Yeah, the Nugget Bridge has, like, a, um, a line of trainers, and if you defeat them all, you will be rewarded a Nugget, and you do have to end up fighting all of them, so yeah, just get ready to, uh, to battle a bunch of Pokemon. Now, you won't be able to reach the grass here on Route 24 until you get off the Nugget Bridge, but the Pokemon you can find here, I mentioned earlier, you can get Oddish in Fire Red and Bellsprout in Leaf Green. You can also find Abra here. Keep in mind, Abra is going to be similar to like Magikarp. It only knows Teleport, so it'll definitely take a lot of Switch training, but it is worth it, you know? You can get a Kadabra, very strong Psychic type, that will learn Confusion immediately after it evolves. And also keep in mind that in order to get an Alakazam, you're going to need the ability to trade. Anyways, Koopa gets up to level 18. And uh, you have a Kakuna coming out. I'm just going to stay in. I don't want to deal with Harden. We'll hit you with our new Water Pulse move. It is uh, very nice to have. But yeah, the plan in this video is to just get through Route 24. As I said, there's a lot of trainers. There's only a few items to pick up, and I don't want to make this video like, you know, over 20 minutes long and having to do like 5 or 10 jump cuts because there are a lot of trainers to fight, trust me. Um, anyways, last number 2, or I guess trainer number 2, I forgot to put Koopa out from the front, but that is fine. Yeah, all of these trainers are going to have like stupid dialogue, like they're going to make the Nugget Bridge sound super tough, but... They're like any other trainer out there. It is not hard at all. And the funny thing is, the uh, the guy at the end is actually a Team Rocket grunt, um, which I find pretty hilarious. And he gives you the option to join Team Rocket, which, you know, would be cool if you could say yes, because, like, imagine playing through a Pokemon game as Team Rocket, but the game, unfortunately, does not give you that option. However, there is a Pokemon ROM hack that... Um, has you play as a Team Rocket Grunt. It is called Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, and I actually did a live Let's Play series of it a long time ago, towards like the beginning of my main channel back in 2020. So if you ever want to check that out, it's probably not the highest quality Let's Play because I don't think I even had a microphone yet. So the all audio quality is pretty trash, but it's definitely a really cool game. Um, if you do want to check it out, as I said, it's called Fire Red Rocket Edition. It is pretty sick, and it's got a really cool storyline. It, it's pretty neat because the storylines in that game kind of connect to, like, the storylines in regular Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like, for example, it explains why, you know, the captain is sick on the SSN and stuff. So I found that to be really cool. That is a uh, very nice touch. Anyways, this is trainer number three who is getting mauled here by Koopa. Water Pulse is definitely a nice move to have. Ekans, that doesn't matter. Have Intimidate, why don't you? Psh, I'm fine with that. I'm using special moves, my guy. I am using special moves. Also, I'm looking at my uh, battery percentage on my computer right now, and not gonna lie, it's running kind of low. I know it gets really low when, like, battery saver mode gets turned on, so at least I'm not in any danger of, like, it dying on me right now at this instance. But, um, you know, that's because I've recorded four episodes so far, including this one, um, tonight. So, yeah, we are getting a lot done, which is good. Also, War Turtle is getting Bite. I'll go ahead and get rid of Withdrawal. Probably never going to use that move. But, yeah, Bite, of course, Dark-type move, has some pretty nice type coverage. It'll definitely come in handy against, the, like, Ghost types later on in the game. Let's go ahead and put Ash up front, who was the MVP of the gym battle. Which is pretty ironic because, you know, in the first gym he got no action. In second gym he got all of the action. But, uh, yeah, he is back in front to take on this Nidoran. 
mail. Let's freaking do it, which I think could be a neat Reno, right? Level 16 is when they evolve. It's not 18. Gosh, man. I mean, these are Gen 1 Pokemon, and I still don't know. I feel embarrassed. Um, also, I think I said it back in the Mount Moon episode, but I have forgotten to look at Clefairy's moveset. Yeah, that's, that's my fault. I really could be using the Moonstone right now, but I just haven't looked at his moveset because I am stupid. So I need to remember to do that after today's episode. And hey, there's a critical thunder shock. Let's go. And there's a critical scratch. You didn't have to need to run female. I mean, like, I appreciate it, but like, you didn't have to. You know, it was not necessary. Like, the battle was just not that serious, man. You don't have to take it that seriously. This ain't no Pokemon World Championships. Right here is uh, trainer number five. And once you defeat this guy, you will run across the Rocket Grunt that I was talking about earlier. And he has a Mankey. I think this is the first time we're seeing one of these guys in the game. So, yeah, Mankey, really cool fighting type Mon. Honestly, it might kill Pikachu here. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you lived. Okay, well, I'll switch out. I feel like I've let Pikachu die too many times in this playthrough. So, yeah, I just, I, I feel bad. So, don't worry, Pikachu. I'm not going to let you die again, at least in today's video. Oh my gosh, Koopa almost died, though. Another crit Karate Chop. Now, granted, I think Karate Chop does have a boosted chance of critting. So, um, you know, that is uh, that makes a bit more sense. Anyways, I guess I need to go back and heal since we got beat up so much. And uh, then we will finish off the Nugget Bridge. Not the chicken nugget bridge, just the nugget bridge. Don't think you're going to get a chicken nugget. It would be pretty cool, you know, at the end of the bridge, there's just like a McDonald's McNugget meal waiting for you. <laughs> but no, McDonald's is not in the Pokemon universe. Honestly, I don't think they have any fast food in the Pokemon universe, which is just lame. Like, they are they are behind, man. You know, they've got, like, devices to catch freaking Pokemon and a legendary beast, but they don't have fast food restaurants. That is That is pathetic. All right, so yeah, this guy is going to congratulate us, and he gives us the nugget, and then he's going to ask us to join Team Rocket, because, you know, he's seen our battles. He uh, knows that we could be very good on the team, but unfortunately, the game, as I said, doesn't let you say yes, which is pretty unfortunate. But yeah, because we elected to not join the squad, he is going to get mad at us and challenge us to a fight fine by me. I'm just going to dominate like I have been so far. So, uh, yeah, he's got an Ekans. Who's going to go for Rap? Thank goodness this isn't Generation 1 when Rap was freaking OP. Yeah, if you remember stuff like Rap and I think Bind and what else, like Fire Spin, they um, were just continuous and they did damage to you every single turn and they didn't let you attack, which was, uh, yeah, as I said, just overpowered. So luckily they fixed that after generation one down goes the ekans though and up goes pikachu to level 19 and you have a zubat as easy as it would be to hit this thing with a thunder shock i'm gonna let tinkerbell get some action which by the way i did see that i did actually spell tinkerbell right i don't know why i felt like i was wrong i don't know i just thought you know it's disney i feel like they would spell it a different way but no i spelled it right so hey i'm proud of myself <laughs> um Anyways, let's punch this bat out of midair. Send it to the ground. I know, I'm so freaking violent. There we go. That is an easy Oko. And that does it for the Team Rocket Grunt. So yeah, for some reason, Team Rocket, they just love to hang around the Cerulean City area. I mean, first it was Mount Moon, then there's this guy. Then there's the guy that we'll see in the next episode who like robs the house or whatever. Um. Anyways, now that we are done with the Nugget Bridge, you can... Come down here and fight this camper, first of all. And you can also get the uh, new Pokemon that I was talking about over here in this grass. But, uh, you know, all I'm going to do here is fight Camper Shane. I'm not looking to add a new team member. As a matter of fact, we won't be getting a new team member until after the fourth gym. So, yeah, we have a while until then. But I guess there's a little hint at what my fourth member is going to be. So... Start taking some guesses in the comment section if you want. But, uh, yeah, it's fine, though. We already have half of the team filled out. So, I am, uh, I am chilling with it, you know. Let's go ahead and give this Ekans a Water Pulse, though. This is going to be the final trainer here on Route 24. 
So then we just gotta pick up a couple of items. And hey, look at that, we got the confusion. I wanna say it's like a 10 or 15% chance of that happening, so, you know, not too bad. Of course he's not gonna hit himself, that just doesn't happen for me. My RNG is not that good. But, uh, yeah, one more water pulse. Does the trick. Let's get it. Alright, so, we're actually going to pick up a TM up here. And unfortunately, it's not the TM for Thunder Wave, like the Gen 1 games, that would be pretty nice. It's actually just the TM for Attract, which I guess is still okay, but not the greatest thing in the world. Um, literally, like, almost every Pokemon can learn it, though, so you can probably teach it to any of your mons. Now, here is Route 25. Not gonna check it out just yet, but I am gonna loop back around and, oh, there we go, pick up the Hidden Peckinberry chilling here on Route 24. And, as I said, we will be checking out Route 25 and Bill's house in the next episode. I know the past few videos have been somewhat shorter, kind of around like the 11 and 12 minute mark, but that's okay. At least I'm able to get them out very quickly for you guys. So, uh, yeah. For now, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, deuces!